Probot 3 will reproduce the conditions of a total solar eclipse in space using two spacecraft. With one spacecraft occulting uh, the solar disk like the moon and the second spacecraft uh, catching the images with the telescope. It's a very challenging technology because one has to uh, align three objects. So the sun, the occultar spacecraft and the coronagraph spacecraft. And to have this uh, alignment uh, in a very precise way, like uh, the distance between the two spacecraft is around 150 meters, and the precision of alignment should be of the order of a few millimeters. Right in front of me, we have the uh, uh, Okoto spacecraft. Uh, this is the spacecraft that uh, creates the shadow that uh, is cast on the payload, which takes all the pictures. So this is where the, the laser is coming from to focus the light and acquire the millimetric uh, precision that we will require for, for this mission. Uh, after we have achieved this, we can actually move towards the other spacecraft which contains the payload and which would uh, take all these nice pictures uh, of the sun and the corona like we've never seen it before. All the light or the lack thereof uh, would actually fall on the payload, which is right here. So what will happen is the payload will open its door uh, we have a bunch of suite of sensors, which are essentially a photodiodes. We actually have uh, something else inside, which is a smaller coder inside the optics of the payload. And this would further refine the light and further refine the shadow that, that we have so that we can take the, the perfect pictures and the perfect measurements that uh, we would like to do. The solar corona, there are interesting phenomena like solar wind indeed the continuous outflow uh, due to the coronal expansion there are coronal mass ejections the huge explosions in the atmosphere of the sun acceleration of the solar wind uh, restructuring of the corona due to coronal mass ejections uh, coronal waves uh, also in this part of the sun we are still not sure uh, how CMEs occur why and uh, what are the physical mechanisms so with Proba 3, we will be able to see uh, the CMEs at their birth, so how they are occurring and the first steps of their acceleration and development. So this will help us to uh, understand better the physics. These uh, scientific subjects uh, are the main uh, subjects of my studies. First coronal image would be absolutely exciting because this is so innovative and this would really open the doors to the future.